Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, it's gonna be me, and I'm gonna be co-hosting this clan tournament hosted by Fat Squatch and sponsored by Gear Games. Now, what we got here is Crollo rank nine from Dikapasisil versus Dina Boom from Force of Liberty. Now, before we start, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and turn on the notification to not miss an upload or stream from my channel. Without further ado. Let's jump straight into the battle. Right. Okay, so here goes the battle. Now let's see here. Will Crollo be making out? Uh, you know, will, will will he go for assault, heavy assault rushes, hammer rushes, or vertex Zeus composition? We'll find out. Okay, so don't forget that they are rank nine and rank ten. Dima Boom has the rank advantage. Okay, gold infantry uh, trading boost. Okay, from Crollo. Okay, now let's see here. Switching now to gold infantry scouting, getting those containers at the start. Okay, which is uh, very nice indeed. Okay, instructed both of the assaults to head over to one location. Okay, and the other at the bottom. Let's see here, slowly but surely they are, he is collecting containers as a boost. Okay, now going to upgrade level 2 HQ, now underway, what a fast level 2 HQ for rank 9 I'd say, which is uh, very good. Okay, got that container in the middle, wow, okay Krolo sure is having a tour time, you're getting those containers as a confederation. Okay. Very nice container uh, collection. Okay, here it goes. I wonder, oh, will he be splitting this assault infantry? So yes, he will. Okay, and now collecting other containers from the territory of Dinabu. Okay. All right, now he had a good scout of uh, Dinabu's uh, base. Okay. Third supply center. Okay, activated gold supply. Advanced supply boost. Okay, now one our rifleman was uh, sent to the top right hand corner of the map, and one got detected on the left hand corner of the map. Okay, so I think uh, Inaboon really needs to work on container, but. Most of the containers was gathered by Crollo, which is actually a good job. Okay. Let's see here, Fort Supply Center underway. Rifleman got killed by the assault that was positioned over there. Okay. Let's see here, Crollo is still scouting for, to see if it, there are still containers lying around, but the bottom part of the map is yet to be fully scouted and one container got picked up by Crollo, which is uh, actually very good. Okay. Now he's sending uh, some of his assaults on the top left hand corner of the map. Fifth supply center on the way. Bunker is going to be placed over there to deny scouting if ever there will be any. Okay. Now I think one assault infantry was instructed to go over to the base of uh, Dina Boom. Okay. Another advanced supply base was used. Okay, very nice. Let's see here, some assaults are being produced. Armadillo already out from Dinabu. Okay, fast Armadillo. He might go for Armadillo rushes. So the scout of Crollo was indeed very useful. Okay, one scout was headed to his base. I think that's gonna be one rifleman. Okay. Now upgraded one barracks to level two. I think that's gonna be for heavy assaults in case of in case there will be any uh, armadillo rushes. Okay, still this uh, armadillo is taking care of Dina Boom's or no, uh, or Corolo's assault infantry that was sent to scout. And uh, what we see here so far from Dina Boom was his base was just composed of one supply center, a factory level two, and uh, a barracks and a power plant. Okay, so yeah. Okay, assault ve or vehicle factory gonna be uh, built to unlock other tech trees or he might just go for hammer rushes or zoos. We'll find out soon enough. 
three assaults here are reserved. Okay, one container still not collected by uh, Crollo or from both. And was collected by Crollo, actually, very nice. Okay, one rifleman was able to see the three assault infantry that was actually, uh, you know, like a bystander over there. Okay, upgraded to level two, Eagle Factory. I think that's gonna be against uh, uh, four hammers. Okay, just in case there will be any armadillo rushes. Now, Coyote was headed, or actually was sent to his base by Dinabu and was uh, killed by those heavy assaults. Okay, Avia Factory, okay. So, I think this will be a vertex play from uh, Crollo. Alright, so, Assault Infantry are now gonna be patrolling the vicinity of the map. Especially in the middle part to see if there will be any pending attacks coming from Dinabu. And uh, one hammer is now on the way from Crollo. Okay, this uh, two assault infantry has yet to be scouted. Yet again, after being scouted first by that one rifleman that got killed. And one rifleman was just standing over there and did not collect the container. I believe it just missed a few cells away from seeing that container. So it was not able to collect. Now another, another supply center was uh, built. Okay, level 2 barracks. So technically this is uh, what Dina Boom has on his base. One supply center, two power plants, level 2 barracks, and level 2 vehicle factory, and level 1 HQ. And some grenadiers in armadillo. Okay. Wow. Oh man, this will be an easy win yet again. Uh, I'm... I'm going to bet that this will be an easy win for uh, Crollo. Okay, given the uh, containers that he collected and the tech that he already has in possession. Okay, now with one supply center, you cannot really rush as a level 10. And uh, you're going to be up against this kind of base with three bunkers and uh, some heavy assaults. Okay, one armadillo is uh, over here. I think it mined some passages. Uh, we never know for sure. Okay, second hammer is about to pop out. Wow, seventh supply center on the way from uh, Crollo. Okay, so he got uh, short of power. We're gonna build a power plant for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. One coyote, two great ears, and armadillos uh, actually are placed over there. Okay. One, okay, so Crollo will now be sending another scout more to the top side of the map top right hand and then the one in the middle will be sent in the upper right hand corner in the middle of the map okay now let's see here his base is actually pretty much secured by three bunkers now going level three vehicle factory okay he must have uh, have a lot of supply income given the fact that he already collected a lot of containers for himself and seven supply center with gold boost that's actually a lot, or very good, in my opinion. Seven supply center. Okay, Vertex now about to pop out. Just a few seconds from now. Not from now. Ooh, another container has yet to be collected in the top, uh, top right hand corner of the map. He's actually zooming in because uh, he was actually surprised that it's still there. Okay. Still, the enemy has this for a base. Okay, level 3 vehicle factory is done. Zeus now on the way. Wow, what a tough. Okay, this will be tough for Dinabu. Oh man. Very tough indeed. What a solid base here. What a very solid base. Now Rocket Tower is going to be placed on the edge of the cliff. Gaining that range advantage in first fire. That the uh, cliff advantage has. Okay, two Vertex is now out, and third Vertex is now on the way. Okay, one Coyote has been sent to the top right hand corner of the map. Okay, but yet again, Crollo has yet to reveal his Vertex, so Dina Boom is not aware of those Vertex just yet. Okay, so he's act Crollo is actually playing his cards very well, so he's gonna take him by surpri a surprise. Okay, second Zeus is about to pop out. Two hammers were sent on the upper right hand corner of the map. Okay, to deny the scouting of that coyote. <clears throat> of course, 
because if this uh, if his base were to be scouted then the uh, vertex surprise will be for naught okay i think he's a yeah he's had it he's gonna go straight for the uh construction yard okay gold gold air attack boost with three vertex let's see how it's gonna appear okay two supply centers a bit of an army over there a small uh, detachment small squad rather okay so no construction yard hq just now upgrading to level two Th fort vertex popped out okay so yeah this will be a very easy match oh man okay no well, let's see what's gonna happen here okay destroyed the units that dinaboom has since it's defenseless against any vertex okay all right so let's see now 1300 will he go for hq4 yes he's going for hq4 okay very nice decision given the advantage that he already has now one vertex is actually uh, sent to scout at the bottom of the map to deny any scouting or to kill any infantry that is uh, actually or that is lying there okay now let's see here aviation servicing for faster refuel time for those uh, vertex that he has okay so the coyote did not actually make it to uh, his base or at least close to it see here he's just waiting for those vertex to have a good fuel okay waited a few seconds switch to air attack and here he goes again I'm gonna go on ahead and kill the uh, the vehicle factory of Dina boom okay construction yard rebuilt wow one shot <laughs> okay four vertex one shot say uh, vehicle factory okay so yeah there goes killing uh, the construction yard, the power plant, and the assault vehicle factory from the Inabu. Okay, wow, killed all the power plant. Now all that is left is four buildings, mainly HQ. Okay, rebuilding, I think that's gonna be the construction yard. He has no other choice but to remade it. Okay, second airfield. Now a construction yard. Okay. So another gold servicing boost, aviation servicing, another power plant to of course expand the space. He's about, he's had it and he'll send his land army to patrol over the base of Dinaboom, cleaning the rest of the remaining buildings and leftovers of the buildings or units that he has. Okay, there it goes. Killing the construction yard yet again. Alright, one armadillo is not gonna cut it. Okay. Oh, not able to kill the uh, barracks. Okay. Alright. So as you can see over here, the base is like swarming, or the map is like swarming with blue dots, meaning that's Corolo's forces. Now he'll go ahead and upgrade Avia Factory to level 3 for Thor's. Man, <laughs> he's actually playing a very, a, a very pro-like. Yeah, I mean, he's playing like a pro. To be honest, very good. Okay, Avia Factory, additional Avia Factory being built, and an, an airfield to host more aviation but I think the battle will be over by the time it's finished okay he'll also go on ahead and send another group of vertex oh no a dynamoom has yet to quit and is still rebuilding the construction yard out of desperation but I think it's already too late the HQ has now been picked off and that's gonna be it GG Krolo won a very sounded one resounding victory all right so guys again uh that's gonna be it thank you so much for watching oh and by the way don't forget to miss out this clan's tournament hosted by fat squatch and are sponsored by gear games and go on ahead and check out future videos of this bad of this clan matchups again guys thanks for watching have a great day and good luck with your battles bye now